Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends, back with another news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? Phuket's Patong Mayor proudly hands out useless face masks for the pollution problem down there. A busload of workers ploughs into a semi-trailer, killing the driver in his seat. A second Myanmar and Thailand friendship bridge opens up. Great news for both countries. Health insurance will be mandatory for retiring visa holders. But first up, a four meter king cobra pulled from the sewer in Krabby. Yes, there was a big snake hanging around the toilets. This is a bit of exciting news for those that like to sit on the toilet for a while and read the paper and do whatever. A four meter king cobra has been pulled from the sewerage in Krabby. Yes, a four meter fat king cobra, by the way. He's been having a really good feed down there. Thailand authorities had to go into the toilets and get him out. The cobra, affectionately known as John Holmes, not really, I just made that up, was filmed being chased through the sewerage system. But the cobra couldn't escape and it was pulled out by the tail. Well, would they think it was the tail? A security guard alerted authorities to this nasty little snake, well, it's not little, it's four meters, hanging around the toilets. So the security guard rung authorities to inform them of this snake and his nasty business. Mind you, they did uh, build the estate on top of his home. Anyway, all's good. They caught the snake and they released it back into the wild until they uh, built another estate over the top of him again. There are lots of snakes in Thailand and especially in Bangkok. I've come across a few myself when I lived there. Went out to make my breakfast one time and had a snake looking at me and was going to bite me on the face. It was about three meters long. I tell everybody it was three metres long, it was only about a metre, but it looked about three metres long. Anyway, king cobras feed on other small snakes and rats. So they don't feed on nuts, so you guys are perfectly safe on the toilet. No need to be hanging onto your snake too tight. Yes, yes, you won't be losing your snake down the toilet. Down to Phuket now, and the mayor of Patong has given out useless face marks for the pollution. My, she getting a bit of stick over that. Patong Mayor Shalom Luck kept up was strolling around the Patong Beach area giving out face masks for the pollution. Her goodwill gesture was not taken lightly when it was found that the face masks were completely useless. But she kept giving them out, that's okay. The beach walk was in response to the recent pollution coming from <clears throat> Indonesia and their burning off habits. While the local media decided to come along for the little cruise she was taking along the beach giving out these uh, useless face masks, the only people to benefit from all this was the pharmacy that gave her the face masks. The masks that is handed out are routinely used by nurses to help with airborne infection. Well, you never know, next time maybe somebody might read the labels. Who gets air quality is very, very bad at the moment. But anyway, more about that later. Passenger bus crashes into a semi-trailer killing the driver and injuring up to 30 employees, some seriously. A bus carrying factory workers crashed into a semi-trailer truck, killing the bus driver and injuring all his passengers in Sukhavit Road in Meng District on Tuesday. The collision occurred in Tambon Bangpu about 8 a.m. Police stated there was about 30 employees on board. All were injured, eight seriously. Rescue workers gave out first aid. Then the victims were taken to the local hospital. The 53-year-old bus driver unfortunately was crushed to death and died at the scene. The 35-year-old driver of the truck told police the bus was traveling in the opposite direction. It crossed into the center line to overtake a van. He swerved to the left to try to avoid a collision, but unfortunately the bus crashed into the truck's trailer. A most unfortunate accident in Samut Prakon just outside of Bangkok. Here's some good news for Thailand and Myanmar. A second friendship bridge and it's to be opened this month in the Tax Mao Sut district. This is great news for Yangon and Thailand. The Thai ambassador to Yangon, the Myanmar ambassador to Bangkok, as well as other distinguished guests will be at the opening ceremony. And then vehicles will be let through the bridge. All they have to do is find out which side of the road they want to drive on and make a decision quickly. Both countries drive on the opposite side of the road to each other. The second Thai Myanmar friendship bridge will accommodate cross-border trade between Tak province and Myanmar's Mayawadi province. 
It is also designed to help Thailand with its trade with its neighbours and an economical development along the east-west economic corridor designed to give development and integration between five Southeast Asian countries including Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia and the ever-emerging Vietnam and of course to help friendship between Myanmar and Thailand. This is a fantastic decision for Thailand which will open up trade between all its neighbouring countries. Very good move. Johnny, so I am reporting health insurance as stated by a health official on Wednesday that the measures will solve the 100 million baht of unpaid fees left over by foreigners. Starting the 31st of October, foreigners over 50 entering the kingdom with an OA visa must show that they have valid and adequate health insurance. The one-year retirement visa was granted to approximately 80,000 people in 2018. The insurance requirement is not less than 40,000 baht for outpatient care, 400,000 baht inpatient care. The policies can be purchased both domestically or your own foreign insurance. At this stage, the Division 1 Immigration Superintendent declined to comment until he had more time to study the memo dated September 27. The requirement of the Visa OA is for people aged 50 and over with an income of at least 65,000 baht a month or 800,000 in a Thai bank account. Once again, it does show that if you're travelling, you really do need your insurance. So enjoy your travels, Johnny Up. Thanks, Johnny. Yes, space travellers to the land of smiles. Starting October the 31st, foreigners over 50 entering the country with an OA visa must show that they have valid health insurance covering their period of stay. Now, this is only a memo that was tabled back in January with the same details. The Ministry is still considering this and as yet no decision has been made.